Hi, I'm Dr. David Hill, and today we're going to be talking about diagnosing autism. There's been a lot of attention toward autism and a lot of research focused on autism spectrum disorders. We're learning signs that we can look for earlier and earlier. A nine-month-old, for example, who hasn't learned his name or doesn't understand the word no or doesn't look to his mother for reassurance in a novel situation certainly gets our attention. A child whose head circumference grows very rapidly for the first year of life and then levels off after that certainly gets our attention. Most autism diagnoses, however, are made in the second year of life, often around 15, 18, or 24 months. We now have some very well-validated screening tools, such as the MCHAT, that we start using at 18 months and again at 24 months, and this is part of the standard pre pediatric protocol. Your pediatrician should be doing some form of developmental testing with every wellness exam and should be doing an autism-specific screen at 18 months and again at 24 months. If those initial exams raise concern, then the child will need to go through more formal screening, usually by psychologist, psychiatrist, or behavioral and developmental pediatrician. These screenings are significantly more detailed and look at many aspects of communication, relatedness, and behavior to make a complete diagnosis of autism. Autism remains a completely descriptive diagnosis. We are learning more and more of the causes of autism, almost all of them genetic. However, right now it takes an experienced researcher with a good tool to discover whether or not your child has behavior that would categorize them as within the autism spectrum disorders. If you're concerned, do talk to your doctor and make sure that appropriate developmental screening is being done. Talking about diagnosing autism, I'm Dr. David Hill.